today we're going after the big ones. Like we try to do every day. Oh, that was clean. That's, that's what you want. I got one with the bead already prepped too. It's weightless. Oh. I've been kind of on that big, the big glide bait game for the last couple weeks. Yeah, he was taking a poop, and I just chucked it out in the middle of the grass and just first picking boop, smoke by five. So today we're fishing with a good friend of mine, Billy Lawson. Uh, this is your Lake Fork guide. He is actually, he's a guide on Lake Fork, but he's actually, he's a YouTuber guide, if that makes any sense. You guys know I've fished with him for the last couple years. Uh, come spawn season, we usually join together, hip by hip, and we, we try to go catch some really giant fish. But if you guys ever want to come out to Lake Fork and actually fish with a very trustworthy person, I'm going to link him down below. Do me a solid. This is the guy you want to go with. The only guy you want to go with. And we're frog fishing in March, by the way. There we go. Hey, you ever just cast it off into the sunset there? Yeah. Oh, oh my lanta. Bite yeah, bite and spit right there is an understatement. Look. Get bit it, and spit. Yeah. Get it, though. Did you just bit and spit me? Y'all ever done that? Get that high speed camera on that. Have you ever done that? <laughs> Y'all have never done that, That's I promise you. I bet you no one has ever done that. That's a Hell, I've been look. I've been fishing for for a couple years now, a little bit, and uh holy sh well, there's good news and bad news, bro. <laughs> Which one you want first? <laughs> that hook is past the bar, well, is what it, yeah. <laughs> Tell me. Hooks the, those hooks are real the sharp. Dude, have you I've never done that before. I hit myself with a bandito bug. I was telling you those hooks, you know, they when you hit really when you touch it, it the plastic yeah, goes away. I remember my first fast fishing <laughs> Could they even see that from here? Oh, no. You guys want to see some of the dumb shit that happens in my life? <laughs> That's uh dude. I flipped the bandito bug and hit the back of my leg and it slipped off the hook and that's past the barb. So this bed's this bed's dormant. What about is there one on the right side of this over here? Wow, this is a good start to a morning. Now I'm just right. I was just wrapped on the tip there. Swing and a miss. Self hook it. Self hook wrap. myself. Tip game is strong, baby. Oh hey, I bought something for you. This is just. Oh, there we go. I just saw the whites. Saw some. Got her. Got her. Got her. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm, I'm, it's guidance. I'm trying to grab your line. <laughs> oh, well, chunk. Well, chunky there. So I'm talking about. I saw a roll. I even said, "Oh, saw a roll. Saw a roll." That old belly flash. Saw the belly flash. Oh. that actually might. That's a female for sure. Look how tiny that mouth is. You don't think so? No, I think it's. Ah. She's not as big as I thought she was. No. Yesterday afternoon it might be a male. She's pissing. She's got two holes. She's pissing. Look, it might be a male. I don't know. Question: We keep all four. We, we keep tabs of all four pounder pluses. Yay or nay? Right at it. I, think I say yay. What's kind of funny is I remember I was asking my video. Somebody said, "Why do you dip? Are you is that adding more weight?" <laughs> no well, dipping. I mean, the... that doesn't hurt. But... <laughs> I just do it just so they can take a breath. Yeah. Come on, tear out. Okay, four pounder plus, that's all we're looking for. It's all we keep tabs on. She's 397. I'd say that qualifies. 397. In the guide business, that's a four pounder for sure. She's close enough to where I'm going to redo it because I, I feel like that's a. Uh... her again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's so funny. All right, 397? Yeah, she's 397. 397 it is. 397. He's nothing if not honest, folks. We are 0 0.03 ounces away from. Sorry, though, first uh, bed fish is in the book. It took how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, so you guys do know that I'm keeping track of all four pounder pluses. 
That one was 0 0.03 ounces away from being a four pounder. Leave a comment down below. Say yes, we can count it, or no, we cannot. Just type yes or no. If, there's a, if the yeses outweigh the noes, then we're gonna ding it. That, that sound good? You, I, th I think that's a fair way to put it. Cause I mean, you think you think it's a four? I'm in the guy business, it's that's a four. four for we sure. should make a rule. We should do like three nine five and up. Okay, deal. <laughs> Done. Three if it's nine, a three nine five or up, that will get counts, right? Three nine five. Okay, so we're gonna count that as a four pounder. Any day of the book, I would say that's a four pounder. Three nine seven. Well, come on now. That's a four. Ding it up, chalk it up to number what of the year? 17. 17. You know why we can count that? You know why right now? I just thought about that. Because I've been counting like four, like a four and a half or a four ten or a four. You know what I mean? That's just giving me some extra leeway the rest of the year. You know what I'm talking about? Here's my problem. My problem is you've got like, how, what's the number? 17? 17, yeah. I've got like three more left and then I can't count anymore. So. <laughs> ah, he was a Marine. He ate crowns too, just like this guy. Fuchsia, baby. <laughs> Fuchsia crowns. I'm all about that cherry life. Okay, no, anyway, that's a number 17 of the year. It's, it's a good start to today. Oh, yeah, do, uh, here, I, I got you. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. You got him? Yep. I thought I saw something there. Does he count? Oh! Wow! This is the time of year when you guys want to make sure you are retined, tremendous, like a lot more than usual. Just say that. Hell, to be honest with you guys, you probably want to retie after every fish if you can. What do you got going on here? Oh, those things? Yeah. Those are attached to my chest. Just in case, you just never know when you're going to stumble upon a giant and you may have had a little nick. So we got, we got a fish on the bed right there. We literally just caught that one right over yonder. Got this one as we come through. The thing is, is me and Billy, we switch. It's always, so it's, it's the way it works. Like first person catches one, then you switch and it doesn't really matter. The other person might throw like a stick bait off the back or something crazy anyway. But where was I going with this? Oh, going to a 10 pounder. It's so hard to catch a fish. Eight to nine, you can catch, I don't know, there's a lot of eights. There's not as many nines, but once they go from like nine to 10, they don't go any longer. They just go this way. So finding a 10 pounder is like finding a unicorn. I can give you a good statistic. How, what's it, what is it? So I fish 200 plus days on this lake with me and two other people in the boat most days. Yeah, so it's three three rods? Three rods in the boat for at least Six. 200 to 250 days a year. Okay. Um, and I've been pretty pretty good, pretty successful having my own out here as far as the giant fish go. And we've had eight in the last two years. Eight. So let that sink in. So it's 200 days a year, 200 plus with three rods and only eight on on one on of the biggest bass factories the best, yes I mean, the proven best 10 yeah. plus pound bass fishery in the world yeah that's 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 how hard a 10 pounder is to catch and that's why whenever i catch one we always cherish a 10 and they always get mounted always mount tents let's start off by catching let's do one today that, yes i would like to catch how about a 12 today so i think that there is one on this bed right here though and he did not eat like he, didn't, swam up. he didn't get yeah he didn't get any hook Got him. Yep. There he is, folks. Whoa, from one side to the other. Okay, we said we want to keep total weight, remember? Total we'll weight for the we'll That's, that's a two-pounder. The two-pounder. Do we need to actually weigh him physically, you think, to keep total that's weight? That's close enough. That's, that's a two-pounder, right? Shove him down in that camera, too, when you get a chance. So for a second. Two-pounder, two-pounder, everybody. What do you think, Steven? Yeah. Steven's giggling. I... Steven wants total weight. You we want should. exacts? Let's do yeah, exact we weights then. We exact. We're going to do exact weights. It's going to be 187. 187? That's what yeah, I'm Yeah, that's probably what it's probably under too. We'll do exacts. 154. 154. Yeah. Pound and a half. That's fine though. Let's hey, uh. Make sure you edit that part where I said two pounder. <laughs> <laughs> that's a two pounder, guys. I promise you. I promise it's a two. Wait, it, no, that scale's wrong. I promise. My eyes are it's a marine too. I'm a fishing guide, okay? I'm a fishing guide. I promise that's a two pounder. <laughs> in the fishing guide world, that is a two pounder. That is a two pounder. You round up. <laughs> you do round up. Hey, but I think if he was, well, you know what? I'll flip in there. I still think there's a dark spot on that one, one in the front. I have a question for everybody. We've already got a four pounder, 397. We're going to count it as a four. The only reason why I keep saying that is because you got to remember, you guys remember how many freaking 410s and 49s and 412s and all that kind of 
counts. We're going to count it. But, question, what is our total weight of the day going to be? What do you think it's going to be? Are we going to crack, will we crack 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds? Are we going to crack 50 pounds today? That's a tough number. We don't catch, like, the numbers aren't real big in sight fishing. Yeah. So I don't know what the total weight will be, but I mean, yeah, if we get a couple big ones, it should be over 50, I think. Yep. Dude, what the <laughs> is going on? <sighs> All right, guys. Dave Larkin over here. Um, my stuff is now for sale. I can get one, bud. Don't be slinging them fish at me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I just think you had a too heavy weight on, man. I think so, Pete. Oh, it was. I'm fix that. That just proves that little tiny subtle differences when you're fishing actually make a giant, giant, giant difference. He just worked on the this bed fish for five minutes, but he had like different color and a heavier weight. Different color and a heavier weight. I flipped there with two pitches, completely different setup, and I had a bead in there. You don't have a bead either. I know. Who told you about that bead? Oh. Yeah. Let's add some more weight. What do you think? Uh, two some change, two and a half, two four six. Nice. That makes up for the half pound we lied about on the other one. Good job, Rob. Yep, I'm here for you. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just gonna hang out with Steven. You just keep fishing. <laughs> oh. Me? Dude, I fish fall hundred days of the year. Um does that meet the minimums and this to meet the minimum of fish that we have to play? It's gotta be over a pound. It's over this is over a pound. Over a pound. Score tracker update. <laughs> Lunkers TV, 875 pounds. You're like for God. Zero. Zero. But all you're gonna do is catch one fish. I'm gonna catch four hundred. I'm gonna catch one that equals. Wow, <laughs> yeah it is. Oh, this is a, this is a barn burner. What do we? One three zero. Oh yeah. It's on that, that bait that we have to blur out. You have to literally blur out that entire little section there, Steven. So just throw it out there. That felt like a fish. That is that is a fish. Yeah. Keep your head down. So what you guys don't know is you need to be throwing, well, you can't really throw the secret bait while your buddy's bed fishing. There's always baits you need to throw though while someone's doing, man, that is a, that is a, uh, what? I need to weigh this, don't I? Wow, not even, 0 0.97, 0 0.99. Whoa, whoa. One point, yeah, one pound, Point, wow, point nine nine. You got one pounder. Hey, Pops, you're supposed to be going the other direction. I'm not ah. sure. I don't know what's going on there. One pounder. Look at that. Look at that. Look at oh, she's already rolling. She turned down on it. Yeah, she Shit's going to happen. Look at that. We can catch her. She's back in on the left side. He's got it in his. Nope. I just got bumped. Yep. There's a male. Steve, will you, wait, will you guys weigh this one real quick? And I'll see if I can get that other one worked up. What'd you get? One, well, it hit 130. Yeah, no, she'd been in there for a minute. Yeah, she came in from the backside or something came in from the backside. I'm just trying, I'm just paying way too much attention. Yep, see, look. I'm in the, I'm like in the zone zone. Can I get a? Can I get another one of these, please? Yep. Come on, turn, turn. What happened there? Stuck in that tree right there. Yeah, stuck in that tree. Yeah, stuck in that tree. That would have helped our weight adage. <laughs> well, son of a gun. Got all that work. Did all that work. Found him. Damn, that sucks. Well, I don't think that's going to happen for a while. You know where she's at, though. Yeah, we can make a lap around and look. Damn. And then come back to her. Took off and she went straight into this tree right here. Popped me off. I'm going to retie. I had a bead on this beforehand. And you guys always have to pay attention. Them glass beads do break, clearly. And then you get stuck with this and your line's a little, a little charred right there. It's a fish. 
it adds to our weight. It adds to our weight, folks at home. Ah, two pounds exactly. Two pounds exactly. Two pounds. See you, fish. Pretty good one. Four pounds, give or take, right about. Well, that was team effort there, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely a team effort. Four pounds, 4.1. 4.10. That's Four that same fish. Huh? That's that same fish that I just had hooked a second ago. Yeah, that got lost in the tree. Oh, yeah. well, the tree fish. Give it a little tree. I lost it, so my turn was up. Turn gets up when you guys lose fish. It's true. It was my turn in the rotation. Either way, though, team effort, it got in the boat. It's still know. part of the daily number, so good job. So, I told you guys that that's how it's done a second ago. I, I didn't really elaborate. All I did was like pick up a, another bait that I've been using this entire time while I let him work on the bed. Like, let's see here, how should I put this? I caught the mail, handed it to Steven away, and then I instantly tried to pitch back on there to see how we can get her to eat. It took a couple more flips than, than usual, but she got comfortable when the mail got back. She pounced on it, took me into a tree. We waited probably, I don't know, what do you think, 10 more minutes? He flipped it, caught her, and uh, now it's my turn. It's my turn to catch a big end. A little bit of a midday update for you guys. I think we're sitting around 16 or 17 pounds, something like that. And uh, I did have another fish that we were, we were working, but when you guys have a lot of wind, it's blowing like 20 today. I know you can't really tell because we're kind of hidden right now, but there's a lot of chop on the water and there's clouds. Now bed fishing on days with a lot of clouds for one is, it's, it can be extremely tough depending on the water clarity because it creates like an intense glare. And that's pretty much the deal. Usually you stand on top of a cooler, you can see through the glare pretty, pretty well, but not this time. But uh, like I said, midday update, I'm gonna hop in Rackley's boat and ride back with him because well, we got two other people in and the ride's a bit choppy and you don't like sitting on this deck of the boat. It's not good for your tush. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Just, just bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. There's a fish out there. Gonna be good. It's not even moving. Is that even a fish? It's gotta be a fish, right? Or is that a tree? What the heck did I catch? Oh my gosh. Did I really just catch that? A freaking turtle. Oh my. Did that really just happen? I haven't never caught a turtle. Good start. Good, good start. Back from lunch. Get out of here. Well, as you can tell, I'm back to being alone on the boat. Billy's out with a LFG right now. They went somewhere over there to do a serious dangle. I'm gonna see if we can find some more bedfish and uh, turtles, bedfish and turtles. What was he doing out there? I thought he was a big one when he hit because it didn't move. I was like, oh my gosh. I think I just saw a white flash. Something just pushed. I think there's, I think this is a fish that I can catch, yes. And I think there's actually two fish. There is two fish. One's turning on it now. Okay. There's two. There's actually two bass up there swimming. I don't. I don't think those fish I just saw a second ago were very. Um, I don't think they were locked. I think they were just up roaming, just kind of, just coming up. No, they weren't really. They weren't really doing the right thing. They weren't. I don't know. They just weren't doing the right thing. I was just about to leave too. That's like a shallow, muddy, 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 muddy pocket. That was a tiny fish. Came back like really deep in a creek. The thing about coming to this lake is if you come to this lake, you have to really commit to like a, a creek arm. Like legit commit. Because you can't really just get up on plane and run out of here. It just doesn't work like that. 
So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm on, I'm on the hunt for like bigger fish, right? Like big fish. And I'm really testing some new areas that I've never been in, like this one I just pulled up into and it is not right at all. Doesn't look right, doesn't right about it, bank is wrong. And like I said, when you come back into an area here on Fork, it's like you have to do a full send into that area. There's no, I'm gonna go just take a gander for five minutes. No, you're back here for 20 minutes minimum because you can't just, you just can't really run out of a pocket. This does not look right at all. Not a very big one. Looking back there, it looked like it might have been a bed. Oh, he ain't too bad. He's fat. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm running all over this lake trying to find new water because I don't know it that well. It's not a terrible fish. There's, we're literally playing bumper boats back in here. There's probably seven or eight boats just in the like 100 yard stretch right here. It's either really good or everybody's just trying to get out of the wind like me. <laughs> and find clean water. Look how good this water looks. That last place we were at looked like just straight poop. Whoa! Don't move. There is a bed lock or a fish. Look at that. Look at that. We're right over the top. We just don't even move. We don't want to cast any shadows. Holy crap. Did you see that? On that bed right there to your right, there's a fish just, just showed me her belly. This close. I'm not even kidding. It's right on the last leaf of, of this uh, pond weed, I think. That was crazy. She could see our shadows 100%. If we would have moved and gone crazy, she, I mean, I haven't hit the trolling motor, done nothing. It's gonna float on by her. I'll turn back around, I'll sit back out here and see if I can get, dude, did you not see her? She came up, she went like this. This is all white underneath. That's all I saw. I, I mean, it, good enough for me to want to have fun with it. Okay, plan of attack. Catch this fish. There's one over there that's a really good fish, but it's probably one of the hardest bed fish I've ever had to work for. It just does this, and then it pretty much disappears. It's just gone. Maybe it's because the water's so muddy, but this one right here showed me its belly on accident. Now let's see if we can knock it down with the old bandito bug. Hello. What's up? Got one. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Big fish, big it. Go. I knew I saw that son of a gun. Oh man. Damn dude, you called me at the wrong time. I found a, I just found a, I don't know, I don't know about the way, probably a six, something in between. Uh, no, let me, let me dip this fish and wait and I'll call you back. Wow, he called me at the very wrong time. Okay, let's weigh this sucker. I'm gonna say it's somewhere around six pounds if I was gonna guess. What do you think? Pushing it. It'll be close. Five, seven, three. Five, seven, three. Almost six pounds. Beautiful fish. I don't think you guys understand. When we came over, we just drifted looking for some bed fish and it went like this. All I saw was its belly. We didn't touch the trolling motor. We didn't do nothing. We just kept quiet. We didn't move. Came back out, made a plan of attack. Freak Steven out a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> freaked you out? <laughs> freaked me out. I was on the phone. Did you see how easy? Yeah. Guys, came right out. It just came, it just slid. This bandito bug, I'm telling you guys, this is the best bait, I, I think, on the market. Like, it is an amazing, it just, it works so good. When I when I pulled it out, it was just like, it just fell right out. That's uh, why I almost dove in the water when she got wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> just kept pressure and she's good. All right, good to go. Thank you, baby girl. I just want to say one last time, thank you so much. I love you. Go make some babies. Go make babies. All right, so we chalked up, what do we got? We had a four, we lost that other four today. 
Matter of fact, you know where we lost that? Where I lost that four pounder that we ended up catching? There's three boats in that little. No, there's four boats in that little cut right over there. It's like you get up here and you get jam packed. I'm telling you guys, when you're looking for bedfish, most of the time, of course, you're gonna see ones on the bank. But like the nice, juicy, fat ones, kind of like that one, are gonna be out in the deeper stuff. And sometimes you really gotta back off like that time. I mean, I didn't. I feel so. I feel so much better now. I feel good. It feels good. Oh. Oh. Trying to find good water's been stressful for me. <laughs> oh god. Wow, that was that was fun. That was really fun. That was one of the worst rides back since probably we were in uh, Michigan or Wisconsin, wherever that was. Wisconsin. That was worse. That was worse. That was worse. <laughs> oh man. Hey, that was fun. We did. We couldn't film the ride back, but it was pretty. Pretty brutal. <clears throat> you ready? So I thought the best way to end this uh, this video would actually be to finish marking off the 2019 big bass up to date. We got we got to make it up to date for you guys. So four pounds. We got 17 so far. Uh, before we left on the trip, we had 14. So we could add we could add three there. May run out of room there. So that would be nice. Five plus pounders. Anything between five and six pounds. We have 10. So we actually caught two more. Two, okay. Six plus pounders, still at one, okay. Seven, wow, still zero and five and zero. So basically we just got some fours and fives. I had one that I thought was really close to six, right? We have two it was close really, to six. Really close. It yeah. was two ounces now for something. No, really matter. There we go. There's the updated version for you guys for the 2019 Big Bass. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. Hey, we we got the winners of the truck coming in this week. I'm pretty excited to take them out. Hopefully we can get them on some of these kind of fish. So. Uh, that's the deal. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Yes, Lake Fork can be a son of a gun, but you can have a good time. I bet you guys know. Click the right there. Hey, click the one right below if you haven't already subscribed. Right down there, do it to a little I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging.